This is the Kindle Publishing Weekly Update episode number two, where you all can follow along in my journey towards financial freedom and beyond through Kindle Publishing. Thanks for joining us here on MillennialRebel.com. My name is Michael. For those of you consuming this through video, you may be wondering why I'm wearing a suit. Well, my mentors are taking me out to hear some people speak, which I'm super psyched about. I love being in environments that allow me to grow as an individual. That only means that I'm going to have to go through this week's episode as efficiently as I can. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. As before, the first portion of this video will be an update on how this past week went. Huge thing happened on Tuesday. I had my first coaching call, really learned quite a bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and share some of the things that I learned. First big takeaway is you can't be doing the same thing as everyone else. What do I mean by that? Well. There's courses out there that you may have heard of that's really, really great at teaching someone how to get a book together, get a cover made, uh, write out a description, uh, and then go out and publish the book. Well, with that comes along a swarm of people flowing into the markets, all doing the exact same thing. The same, you know, $5 book cover, the 5,000 word range, the same structure of how you write out your description. You know, I'm guilty of this too. This past week was really the lowest week I've ever had in sales for my two books. Like scary low, you can go ahead and check out uh, the screenshot for the sales I had in these past seven days in the link below. If I didn't have a coach right now, I'd totally be freaking out. Uh, Really, this is not what I was expecting, uh, but fortunately, I have a coach who's uh, going to help me succeed. But for those of you who are just getting started in Kindle publishing, are already or will be in the future, I want to ask if you're positioning yourself to rise above the clutter. Are you positioning yourself to stand out from your competitors? Okay, if you're lucky, you publish a book and it gets successful really soon. You know, you start seeing a lot of money coming in. But who's to say that's going to be there a month from now, two months from now, three months from now? So position yourself to stand out, differentiate yourself. Number two, as my coach challenged me to go out and publish my next two books in a way uh, that I can stand out. I ran into one of the biggest concerns any business owner can run into. What is that you may be asking? A lack of capital. Now this is really a budgeting issue on my behalf, but luckily my coach was able to prolong my next session two weeks later than it was scheduled. That gives me enough time uh, for my minimum wage job, $15 here in Seattle, uh, to cover the expenses I have now, but also will be having with the descriptions being made for that book, the covers being made for that book, uh, bringing, in, bringing in a VA and implementing a social media strategy. For the VA and the social media uh, strategy that I'll be implementing that most likely won't happen until the beginning of April, which is unfortunate, but lesson learned. You know, perfect example for how Kindle Publishing teaches you the business skills to succeed. If you don't have the accounting and budgeting down, you may run into a sticky situation, such as the one that I'm in. So for those of you starting out or will be in the future or already in the business, make sure that you have that down. Learn from my mistakes. Uh, that's what I'm here for so that your journey is easier. That's really all I had going on for this week. I, now you may be wondering what's next? You know, what, what's in the week to come? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward on getting the covers made for my two books. I pay around $15 uh, for each one, make sure that they are top notch. Uh, that's a great way to stand out. I also have to come up with uh, a bit of a creative 
structure for those book covers, you know. With standing out, the, the book covers are one of the first things that a customer sees. So <laughs> that's going to be a little bit hard for me. I'm a little uncomfortable with it, to be totally honest. But hey, we're not growing if we're constantly pushing ourselves outside our comfort zone, right? Next thing I'll be doing is really, really settling down in the budgeting and accounting of my business. I'm really going to be tracking down, you know, not only the expenses I have now, but will be in the future. I don't ever want to run into this situation again. So I'm talking about months from now, you know, and when I go into my fourth and fifth editions of the books that I currently have. I don't want to run into any surprises and I want to be able to be prepared for when I go through that development. So that about wraps it up for this week's episode. Just to review, find a way to stand out when you're publishing. Make sure that you have the budgeting down. <laughs> All right, take those two lessons and implement them in your journey. I not only encourage you to you know, get started in Kindle publishing, but in whatever it is that you want to do, find a way to get free uh, break away from the nine to five if that's something that you want so that you can go ahead and pursue your life calling. Make the influence uh, that you want in society. That's what Millennial Rebels are about. We're transcending the status quo. So if you like this video, go ahead and give us a like. Uh, reach out to me on my blog or comment below. I want to thank you guys for tuning in with us on the Kindle Publishing Weekly Update, Episode 2. I hope that you guys have an incredible day. Peace.